The objective is to build a bridge as strong as you can that can hold as much weight as it can. We had Builder Bunch come in and um, we had our class divided into groups and they were able to construct bridges from Legos and they had you know, some stipulations, which is great because we're trying to uh, incorporate more STEM into our classroom. So they had a piece of wood that they had to build across and their wood can only have three columns on it. Guys, guys this part is not structured enough. We built these two um, pieces long fat platforms that held the bridge up and then we connected them on the top and we had gray pieces so then we put them together and then we laid them down and we tried to make them stay and the first time it broke and then the second time it worked. Over the summer, um, Cobb County had a workshop, a three-day workshop thing called Stemapalooza. One of the things you could do is enter a contest for building a cell phone holder, and the Builder Bunch company is the one that held that. Whoever won, <laughs> which was me, got um, an in-school field trip for the entire school. You need to make it stronger so it doesn't break. What do you do? Put some on the top. That's a good idea. Before the summer, I thought I knew what STEM was, but then once I went to STEM Palooza, it was like, oh my goodness, okay, now I really know. And the benefits are just amazing for children. I mean, first of all, it's so engaging. They love the, um, the activities, um, the creativity, the collaboration is wonderful for them. It's just a great way for them to problem solve. This incorporates that kind of thinking and the process of STEM into our um, daily schedule and that was just another way to reinforce those skills for our students.